We're being asked to find a unit vector in the direction of this vector here, which is called v. Let's go ahead and do it. So there's a formula. Let's call our unit vector u. And this is equal to the vector v divided by the magnitude or norm of v. You can rewrite this as follows. It's 1 over the magnitude of v times the vector v. So let's go ahead and work this out. So it's 1 over, now to figure out the magnitude, you just take the square root and you square these guys and you add them up. So negative 1 squared plus 3 squared. And then here we have our vector v, so negative 1 comma 3. Let's keep going. So we can simplify the denominator. Negative 1 squared is 1 and 3 squared is 9. And then we still have the vector here. This is equal to 1 over the square root of 10 times, and then negative 1, comma 3. Now we can actually perform the multiplication. This type of multiplication is called scalar multiplication. So to, to perform the scalar multiplication, we just take our scalar, which is this number here, and we multiply it by each of the components in the vector. So we end up with negative 1 over the square root of 10, and then 3 over the square root of 10. And that's it. That's the answer. Now you can check your answer, and to do that, all you do is take the norm of your vector. So let's go ahead and do that. And since this is supposed to be a unit vector, its norm or magnitude should be equal to 1. So we'll try it. So this is the square root. And you just take this piece here and you square it. So negative 1 over the square root of 10 squared plus, and then 3 over the square root of 10 squared. So this is the square root. Well, there's a negative sign here. It's going to go away when we square it. So 1 squared is 1. And the square root of 10 squared is 10. Plus, 3 squared is 9, and the square root of 10 squared is 10. So 1 plus 9 is 10, so we get 10 over 10. So that's the square root of 1. So that, in fact, is equal to 1. So our answer does check. We did produce a unit vector. That's it.